What is up, YouTube world? I'm Ashley D. Before I get started, please go ahead and hit the like and subscribe. Also, feel free to share this brief video as well. Everything I state is allegedly not a guaranteed fact, my own personal opinion and observation. So, I just want to wish each and every one of you a happy new beginnings. Um, it's been a minute with me doing a video and everything. I just want to shout out everyone who joined the live last night. I really appreciate it. Thanks for all the support that you guys have been showing me. And I'm going to work on doing my members only videos to try to stay consistent, but bear with me, it's new. So I'll have to talk to a couple content creators and see how that goes, but I definitely appreciate the support. Now, I'm going to speak on Light Anya, who thought it was okay to speak on herself in such a disrespectful discard for her daughter that was there manner, okay? She had a full-blown conversation with the internet. It went from her talking to her daughter to her telling everyone that her youngest daughter wake up every day and say, are you pregnant? I want a boy, I want a girl. Then she runs to Mr. Ed and says the same thing to him. Okay, common sense. If you are speaking on this conversation daily. You put it out on the internet daily. It must be going on in the household very frequently for your youngest daughter to feel it necessary. So you say to wake up every day to ask you, are you having another child? Well, are you having a child? Are you pregnant? Are you having a baby? However we want to put it. We all know that's a bald face story. And the sad part is your oldest daughter was sitting right there with you. And right before you turned on the live, she said, if you were pregnant, she's okay with that because she already used to her youngest sister. But basically, I believe you told her to say that because we all questioned people on this side, one way or another, that you having a daughter at this time would not be the best idea, especially for your oldest daughter, because it seems as though she's the caregiver for your youngest daughter. And your priorities are all over the place, not to mention the text messages that were leaked between you and Mr. Ed in this toxic relationship, not verbal that you and your soon to be ex-husband had, but physical. It was verbal, but it escalated to physical. And now you think that you getting online saying it's your private part. People worried about if you have, I don't even... I don't even feel right saying a word. This woman got on her live today and she began, started off having a conversation with her daughter. She started off having a conversation with everyone online, speaking on the fact of the youngest daughter wants her to have another child, a baby. And she asked her and Mr. Ed. Then it went from that to who cares? Why do you guys worried about if I'm pregnant? Why do you guys worried about if I have walls? W what? Are you serious? What type of woman disrespects her child? Forget yourself, because obviously you have no lack of respect or accountability on your end whatsoever. But for you to sit online while your daughter sat on a sofa and you say these things, you have no respect for your daughter. And that's why she's so mature now. And she's the way she is because you treat her like your friend instead of your child. And she doesn't have a chance, a fair chance to be that if you are pregnant, which I think you're trying to get pregnant. You're setting the stage because if we're going to be honest, Lyonia, you have no content. Your time is drying up. So if you do have donkey boys, baby, yes, they're going to tune into you. See what you guys are doing. You little fake skits, your little fake family thing. You're trying to push out and promote what you have going on with Mr. LaTrue because it's clearly you have nothing going on. It's clearly Stevie Wonder can see a mile away that this relationship is a disaster waiting to happen or it's already happened behind closed doors and you want to carry on and you thinking that for the best interest of your kids that are already here now, that Bally has your time and attention, full time, mom, single, but you're too busy running behind Mr. Ed and trying to please him and trying to please everyone else and have everyone believe that this relationship is so fairy tale, and you guys are truly happy. 
instead of you focusing on what really matters and that's you being a parent to the kids that are here. But in your mind, you think that having another child right now and then you have your people hyping you up. Like, what is wrong with this world? It's like we live in a twilight zone. You really think that it's okay for you to have another child right now? And your people are cheering that type of behavior on? And you say, we're worried about... No, we're worried about your kids, sweetheart. They deserve that time and attention from you. They deserve for you to take a break from this man-child who has built this whole career and podcast off of you. But basically off of Mr. LaTruth back. And now all of a sudden you say, you want to focus on you. It's 2024. You don't want to focus on that. But yeah, your Bree Hives are consistently with their fake pages, posting stuff, digging for things. And they're continuously under Mr. LaTruth lives, having something to say, harassing him and his family still. But you want to pretend to the world, the people that don't watch behind the scenes, the people that only continue to tune into you, they only know half of what's going on, that you want peace. So now when you come online and you say something about your husband or his family, they'll say, oh, why are those people picking with her? She just wants peace. She's moved on. She's happy in this relationship. Well, clearly they're not doing any research. Clearly they're not looking at these fake pages that you have floating around that's continuing to put out bull crap, continuing to post about people, drag them. But you're okay with that as long as you try to keep your image clean or try to clean it up, so I, I should say. But you're really not cleaning it up. It's too late for that, Lion. You have messed up your image. You have messed up the image that your husband has worked so hard, soon to be X, created for you. And now you think in bringing Donkey Boy into this, you guys are going to have this ideal relationship and you think that bringing a child into this dysfunctional relationship is the right thing to do. Sometimes it's just mind bottling how your mind works and what you approve of. You are still that same young 16 year old little girl who was on a podcast a month ago, called yourself trying to clear things up with your first child father on there. And when you said that you, you said that you had kids back to back, back to back, thinking that that would keep a man. But you soon realized that that would not keep him. So then lucky for you, unfortunate for Mr. LaTruth, you moved on to him. That's why it was easy for your child's father to get away from somebody that was draining, someone that was toxic, someone that kept would have kept keeping kids, kept having kids just to tie him down when he did not want to be there. And you let that be very known. You are still that girl. You had a baby by your husband. He clearly stated he did not want any more kids. I can respect that for his own personal reason. He stated that online. So I know he stated that to you privately, even when you guys got together. So he accepted your already made family and he treated them like they were his own and he already had a daughter, right? You decide on your own, the betrayal, the insult to injury. And you could think that Maybe he didn't want any more kids because for one, you guys combined had four kids together. For two, he felt as though maybe he wanted to focus on his career. Maybe he was going to be traveling and he didn't want to put that on a child to go through that when a father does not have that time to be consistent in that home. Whatever his reasons was, he made it loud and clear that he did not want a big family. Well, I don't want to say big family, but he did not want any more kids, okay? But you chose to, on your own, decide to get off your birth control and continuously try to get pregnant. Boom. It worked. Your husband could have divorced you in that moment. 
That was the worst betrayal ever. Imagine that you tell your wife, you tell someone up front, nope, I don't want to do it. We have this going on. This is what I want to do in my life. This is where my career is going to go. I'm set. But then you see that his daughter is the apple of his eye. And you wanted a piece of that. So here you are again, trying to tie yourself to someone else and make sure it's for life. Because you knew you were unhinged. You knew you only could fake this role for so long. And you knew that eventually, when you exposed who you truly were, it was a possibility that he was not going to stick around for that. I mean, who would? Your first child's father didn't. And you tried to keep him around and that did not work. So here you are deciding on your own when a marriage takes two to bring another child into this world without his, without his consent. So you go on to have that child. And now you guys are going through a messy divorce. You seem to not be able to let go. But you drag this man that you clearly know in your heart is not the one. But you can't let him go either because you built him so you built him up so much. You put so much into him. Kind of like what your husband did with you back and forth for years, except he didn't love you and he wanted to make it work. But he knew in his heart it just wasn't. And it wasn't just him, it was you. You wouldn't grow up, Lyonia. You wouldn't change your ways. You wouldn't stop talking down to your king, who's supposed to be head of your household. But now you want to get online and pretend as though Mr. Ed is some type of king when he doesn't even take the trash out. And I can't even begin to stop naming all the things that are red flags in this relationship that will clearly show us that this man is not a leader of any home. But you want to pretend he is and you have that right to. But when it comes to bringing children in this world, they should be brought in this world for all the wrong, right reasons and not the wrong reasons. Let me clear that up again. For all the right reasons and not the wrong reasons. You are bringing a child into this world to continue on your broken legacy. You are bringing a child into this world to try to confuse your people that are following you. Think about the young people that are following you. You're not even divorced, Lyonia. Yes, you both have moved on, but get divorced first before you keep on pushing down people's throat. Even the young people that are looking up to you. That it's okay to have a child right now. Like, make it make sense. Your daughter's not out of pampers yet. And that's your fault. Maybe if you spent more time into your home and interacting with your kids, then maybe in your mind you would process the fact that it's not a good idea to have another one right now. And that's me speaking to you like a woman, like the people on the other side, or shall they say, shall I say it the way they do across the street should speak to you. I am Ashley D. Please feel free to leave your opinion down below what you think about this crazy situation. And I will be speaking with each and every one of you soon. Take care. Peace.